Dustin, it's Ken Kaplan. How you doing? Oh, hey, Ken. How are you, man? Good, good. I got your message. Oh, yeah. I think I, we actually, you, you text me too, I think. Um, it, That was it, pro- it, probably Junior. Oh, maybe that was someone else. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I was just wondering if you had any leads because just, just a few nights ago, I lost uh, three, three really, really expensive dirt bikes in my garage in Stafford Springs. Huh. Jesus. Uh, and, uh, yeah, any leads for you? Uh, not yet. Uh, were yours posted on Facebook or Facebook Marketplace or any place like that? Yeah, so that's what that's what the cops told me. So I, I actually, my, my 2024 KTM 250, I decided to sell it after I just bought it a couple months ago. And three days later, I put it on Marketplace. Three days later, they got me. Hmm. Do, do you so have I, any, I think it's because of that. Do you have any leads? Yeah, well, the, the police haven't been doing much, but I took three days off from work. I went to every gas station and, and commercial building around, and I got the bikes going down the road with their with their car that follows them around. So I got one of them locked in near Springfield, and I just spent half the day in Springfield going up and down the streets looking for this one particular vehicle. So you actually saw them riding your bike? Uh, absolutely saw them, yes. So they, they hit me in my garage, in my house. I have cameras everywhere, surveillance, at uh, 2.35 on Wednesday morning. Okay. Um, and, then, and then six later, uh, I have them down at, at, a, at a, a, um, a commercial building down there to Rotary in Stafford. Somebody picked them up on the camera. It's, it's, it's my son's bike and a vehicle following. So they rode the bike from your house? Well, no. So my camera showed them they parked the ch- pickup truck at the bottom of the driveway. I think they came here for one dirt bike, but when they opened up the garage, they saw there was four. They can only fit three in the back of a pickup. Um, from there to the next place where I got them on camera is only five minutes away, but it took them 12 minutes to get there. So for, for six minutes, they sat somewhere. They must have unloaded the bikes, and they split up. Huh. But I have one. It's an um, SUV Ford Explorer. 2002 to 2009 it's in between that area but it's it's deep red with a gray strip in the bottom hmm and you think so, that, that you think they're from spring uh, springfield and uh well yeah so what i got now is i i got them on camera i went like i said six or seven different businesses and i got them going on it looks like they're ready to get on 91 with the damn bike in enfield going north so all i can think of is from where my my house is located if they were in like a northern part of springfield or something or east long meadow they would have took they would have took a different way out of my house but since they went that way, I'm guessing they went to Springfield. Okay, sounds about right. He has a lot of bike bike thieves in that area for sure. Yeah, I'm very upset because this, this is ridiculous. You know, and what sucks is I have a security system here, and that night I did not arm it, which kills me because I, I would have heard it would have went off. Jesus, which makes it even worse. But I just saw that post uh, today for you, you, and I said, "Holy shit!" They were in town just a couple of days later. So, yeah, that was um, I don't know if it was the same people, but. <clears throat> Who knows? They went to Hartford or, or Springfield would be my, my guess, you know? Yeah, could be. I, I know the guys that walked up my driveway. Uh, my house was lit up like crazy, too. I got decorative lights all over the place near my pool and shit all lit up nice. They didn't care. They walked up with a set of bolt cutters that are about four and a half to five feet tall. It's the biggest bolt cutters I've ever seen in my entire life. Really? Huge bolt cutters. And the other guy had a big, huge steel pipe, like a steel bar with a flat end. And that was for prying open and breaking open a window. Huh. So they broke a window too. Yeah. So yep. h- how did they get in, into into your place? Oh, the side window of the garage. So they went in the side window, then opened the garage door. Yep. Then yep. One one inside. I uh, opened up the garage door, and believe it or not, they went out the back where my pool is. A little walkway around a gate. Somebody else held open a gate and got between my shed and my garage, and they walked it nice and slow down the driveway. And I'm I'm full hundred feet off the road. Jesus. They took their time. They were actually on my property for 27 minutes, and I have a dog, and I I can't believe that we didn't hear a single pin drop the whole time. Man. But, but it lets me believe that they, they've done this so many times that they got this down pretty damn good. Wow. But the, the cameras only let me see what they were doing, but they were all wrapped up. You couldn't see their eyes, their, their head. They had gloves on. The gloves were all like wrapped, saran wrapped to their uh, sleeves of their coat. They were making sure no gloves were going to fall off or they were going to get hung up. Nothing baggy. They were taped up tight. It's fucked up. Yep. <clears throat> really bad. Okay. So, yeah, so I just, again, I just want to contact you because I didn't know if you maybe had cameras and because any, any little extra piece of information that I can get, and I got a couple of uh, police friends and they're going to help me. One's a canine unit in uh, Enfield. He's right now scanning all the, 
<clears throat> cameras on the intersections and trying to get a plate reader to work or to identify them. That's that's where we are right now. I've been recording this conversation. Can I use this to help find these fuckers? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Don't matter me. You can contact me any way, any anytime you want. Any information because I'm actually personally. I take this personally. I own a business, so I can take a lot of time off. This week, I'm going to be all over the place. I would West check. I would check Hartford too because uh, you said did they, did you see them get on 91 North or uh, for sure? Yeah, so it, yeah. It looks like it's going. It looks like they're going to be they're going north. But to confirm that, I'm going to go up to Springfield's um, tomorrow and go to some commercial buildings like on the Columbus Ave and Main Street. Some big buildings that have like the cameras facing the highway, and I, I got to actually confirm that first. But once I, I have everything time stamped, so I know rel- relatively what time they should be there. So if I can find that on the camera, then I can confirm. I guess there was a Puerto Rican parade in Hartford today. And that's what I asked. I guess there's a lot of people um, with stolen bikes there too. Oh, I, you know, I wish I knew about that. So let me tell you, that's weird that you said the Puerto Rican. So um, at the um, Simon says, Simon says is a, um, a company here in town. You might even know who it is. Mike Simon's owns it. Yep. Um, he has cameras outside that actually has a voice. Like it, it can pick up voice. I got the bikes coming down Orchidville Road, and all of a sudden there's a big, the horn's blowing. Nah, 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 nah. Another car meets up with them, and they shut the dirt bike off right in front of his cameras, and they're speaking Spanish. Blah, 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 blah. And they point to go up 190 east, or I mean west, I'm sorry, and then they start the bike up and take off. So I know for sure they're Spanish because they, they talked in Spanish. Okay. So those are little tips that I have so that, far. That's a good clue. Uh, maybe you should have gone to that event today, you know? I didn't know. I'd never even shit. I didn't even know about it. Yeah. Hmm. I, I don't know if you would be stupid enough to b- b- put a brain because, like I said, that new bike. You know, the bikes obviously it's a 2024 KTM 250. It just barely. It just came out a few months ago. I just bought it brand new, so that thing stands out. Yeah, no doubt. <clears throat> I don't know if they're running it around or what they're doing. Probably either riding it or parking it out and selling it. Right. So here's here's my next thing. Since I, I could trust to talk to you, obviously. So the next thing is I got way too many friends and people that have lost lost bikes. Or well, I own some houses that are that are not being va- that are vacant right now. So I'm gonna try to work this out. I'm gonna set up a vacant house, get a fake profile for Facebook. Um, Mike Simons is gonna give me a real expensive bike to take pictures of. We're a bunch of us are gonna sit in this house in the middle of the night, and we're gonna try to set these guys up, and we're gonna get them ourselves. Because the police only have so much resources, they can't do too much. Yep. But we, we can catch them if we want to. Yep, yep. So it might take me a few weeks to get this together, maybe a month, because it's got to be planned out just right, because we can't make a mistake. But I don't want to kill anybody or anything, but I definitely would like to catch them and hand them over, because it might save somebody else from losing a bike, or maybe we can find out where they're stashing the shit. I would definitely set up cameras so you can film the whole thing, too. Yeah, I'm going to fill the whole thing. Well, honestly, so right now, the reason why I want to find this, this SUV is because I, I have a tracker on a magnet. I'm hoping to find them, and if I find them, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to slip underneath their car, and I want to put a tracker on their car because I figured if I were to track them in real time and get, like, two weeks' worth of data, we might find out they go to a warehouse. They might go somewhere else. They might go out of state. I want to learn their pattern. I kind of want to spy on them a little bit because maybe, just maybe, all these bikes and stuff that are being stolen, they're going to maybe the same place or around the same same guys. Could be. Could so be. that that's my long term plan because I'm like again I'm taking this personal and I can't stand that I work hard for a living and someone's full for me you know. Yep. Yep. I, I, trust me, I can relate. I've been through this myself a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. That's sad to hear. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> if you find anything out, give me a call. If I get any information, uh, I'll, I'll get a hold of you. Yeah, I keep, appreciate that. Keep me posted. All right. Yeah, I'll definitely keep you posted. Thanks a lot. All right, take care. All right, man. You too. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, the bike thieves are out and about. Norm Hebert had three bikes stolen last night here in Tallinn, Connecticut. So I asked Dustin if I could record this conversation and share it in hopes of this evidence of the voices uh, being definitely of Spanish uh, origin and uh, the type of car and truck they were driving. The, um, the fact that they were heading north, 91 north, and uh, the other information there may be helpful. Stoustin Stachowski, uh, DTS Carpentry out of Stafford, is, it had his t- 2024 KTM stolen in Norm. Those are the, the, the ones I know of uh, from from this, this weekend. So if anybody else has any information, there's a $2,000 reward, uh, $1,000 per bike stolen um, for information leading to arrest and conviction. If 
you have information that leads to that, you can be kept confidential. You may be required to sign an affidavit or something like that if a search warrant is needed to get in and get the bikes back. Not sure how this is going to go, but stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Lock your bikes up and God bless America.